family today I thought I would do a video on Alliance Crunch it's one that um, I hope even some of those in my Alliance who are struggling with it will um, look at it and learn a little bit more about how to get higher scores um, so it's been going on now for a couple days you can find it in your event center it says top tab Alliance Crunch so let me give you a few tips and tricks as far as this goes so on Alliance Crunch, in the top corner here, these first two squares that say exclusive, those are exclusive offers to you. They're not like the other ones for your team where if you click on them and you're below R4, you can't refresh them and that sort of thing. So on these two up here, say I clicked it and it's saying use 5,000 gold. It's worth 215 points. Um, I'll use this one to show you how I'd use one, I guess. And then this one for the glory banners. I don't have enough glory banners right now to glory anything. My buildings all are requiring very high levels of glory banners. And I recently did that. So I can't do this exclusive challenge and I would like it to put something else up. So you see how when I've clicked it in the top left corner here, um, it shows these little arrows. If you click those. It'll say, once confirmed, a new challenge will be refreshed in five minutes. Confirm. So in five minutes, it's going to bring up a new challenge. So a lot of times what I do is I refresh it um, as many times until I find something I can do. Um, and that way, I can get the most points out of my exclusives. Um, it's really easy if you save up um, some troop training speed ups to get one of the ones. It's like 525 points to gain 250,000 power, 500,000 power training troops. Um, that one's a really good high point one. Um, you know, if you're above 22 on your castle level, it doesn't take long to train 250,000 or 500,000 power. Those are some of the best ones for points on here. Um, some of them are ridiculous. So I'll warn you, um, if you get the ones that say like use 57,000 minutes of construction speed ups or troop training speed ups that is an insane amount of speed ups okay so um for instance if you're looking at one that's wanting you to do that 57,000 minute one um that is 950 one hour troop training um or of course you could use five minute troop trainings and that sort of thing but you better make sure you have at least 950 hours worth of troop training or whatever construction. So be careful with those. They look tempting, but you can get really stuck there. Um, as you can see, one of my teammates yesterday chose the 28,800. Uh, he only has six hours left to accomplish that for 440 points. And he's only 5,845 speed ups deep. So he probably got into that and realized, oh, no. So if you do that, if you choose one and you get into it and then you're like, oh, no, I can't do that. Um, you can click back on it. And instead of these arrows, there will be a trash can. Um, and you can click that and just trash it and, and start a new one. And make sure you're reminding your alliance to collect theirs because all of these that are you know highlighted down here these five if they would collect theirs we could add five fresh ones up here for people to take um but i always almost exclusively unless i see gain 500,000 power gain 250,000 power training troops available outside of the exclusives i'll choose that most of the time i'll refresh and refresh my exclusives trying to get that um, just because it's so point heavy and it's an easy task. So make sure you pick something you can do and pick something that, you know, is, if there's nothing there, just keep it refreshing your exclusives until something comes up you can do. Um, so, for instance, if I wanted to use 5,000 gold, right, and that, so I wanted more chances. Usually you get a free chance each day, you get six free chances altogether. I've used up all my free chances. I've already paid 50 and 100 gold. For other chances today so um, if I wanted another chance to do this I could spend 150 gold and hit accept now you see that I've accepted it that trash can came up if I decided oh my goodness there's no way I can do this I would hit the trash can it would trash trash it if you hit the trash can it'll say 
Um, once confirmed, new challenges will be refreshed after five minutes. The chance will not be returned. So I'd lose my chance for having accepted it. You can refresh these as many times as you want and you don't lose any chances as long as you don't accept them first. Okay. Um, if you don't accept it, you can refresh, 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 and, and that sort of thing. So I've chosen that I'm going to use 5,000 gold. So then what I'll do is I'll go out here and I'll use it. So I'm just going to go to inventory. I'm going to go to the store. I always have need for silver. So might as well just go ahead and, and, you know, get that much silver. Knock that out. And it says, nice work. You've completed your Alliance Crunch Challenge. So then you simply go back in. Click the event center. It says, can claim now. And I can claim it. And now it'll refresh in five minutes. Um... This isn't that confusing on here. Right now we're back down to rookie because there's just a lot of people on my alliance that um, don't push very hard in this event. They don't understand how to maximize their points. They're choosing like these 30, 40 point little blue ones um, that are often the normal ones. You see how many of these little low point blue ones people are choosing. Um, they really need to choose the higher point ones. Uh, if you can get your whole alliance on board with doing that, that's great. These exclusives are kind of the key um, and your best tool to really rack up the most points within your alliance. Um, it tells you what the solo rankings in your alliance are, um, what your overall alliance ranking is in here. Um, we're currently way down there. You'll notice that the top five will move up um, in rank. So if you look at this, we have rookie, contender, challenger, expert, and champion. So for Alliance Crunch, everyone starts at rookie. If you fall in the top um, tier here of alliances, you see these guys are all going to be promoted. These top five, they're going to get to go up to contender tier. Um, then once they go here, if they're in the top, then they move to challenger. If their alliance is in the top there, they move to expert for the next one, and then so on and so forth. You move up if you're in those top five. It used to be top seven, I thought, but now it's top five. I don't know why that's not going back. Okay. Um, one thing that's really cool about this event is there is the, um, scrolls for the pets and the pieces for the pets in this event. Um, and so if you participate in the event, you'll notice you have an opportunity to get a couple different pet fragments, um, throughout the tiers on here. Okay. So you can get several each event to get that pet. Um, and then of course, uncharted seas, when that comes back around should give us a lot of opportunity to get those pet pieces. So for Alliance Crunch overall, it's pretty basic, um, in that you want to try and have your Alliance in the top five. If you can, um, you want to make as many points as you can. The best way to make the most points is using those exclusive challenges, refreshing them when there's something that's not enough points or low points or something you can't do. Um, waiting for them to pop up. You can check back on and off, you know, throughout the day and just hit refresh, refresh, refresh. You can refresh them as many times as you want on these two. It only takes five minutes to refresh as opposed to the 10 minutes, the normal blocks outside of your exclusive do. Um, so I hope that kind of helps you as far as Alliance rewards. Like if you end up, you know, we're rookie. So our Alliance rewards wouldn't really happen because of that tier but you can earn solo points and then your solo points add up to make alliance points um, by completing the challenges. You can only take part in the Alliance Crunch with the same alliance you were in when you were matched for Alliance Crunch. If I was to leave my alliance right now, join another one, I could not participate in any other alliance in this event unless I started the event from the matching stage with my current alliance. Um, then if you're not able um you're not able to complete any accepted challenges if you leave your alliance during the challenge stage so that just means if you accept the challenge then you leave your alliance you can't finish that challenge for points um you get challenge chances at the beginning of the event you have a certain number um you can buy more with the gold like i showed you um your first chance every day is free after you use up your initial batch of chances um, if you do accept a chance and then you use that trash can to remove it after you've already accepted it, you lose a challenge chance, but you don't lose one. If you can't do it and you hit that refresh on your exclusive, you don't lose any chances for refreshing them at all. Um, 
And you can refresh those, of course, for free, like I showed you. Um, and generally, all of these are shared with your alliance, except for those top two. You share all the other you know, tiles, first come, first serve. Um, R4 and R5 can refresh these other challenges off to the side. So if you're not R4 or R5 of your alliance, if you click these, you won't have that option to refresh them in the corner. Only R4 and R5 can refresh these common tiles. But these exclusive ones right here, those are all yours. Um, so further down in the instructions... Um, there is no limit to um, the amount of chances you can complete in a day. Just you're going to have to pay higher and higher gold once you used up your free chances. Um, and so basically at the end of each event, your alliance tier um, either remains the same if you're not in those top alliances or um, you advance if you're in those top ones. So that's pretty much um, alliance crunch. It's fairly straightforward. Um you know, just really look at what it's asking you to do. Because like I said, there's a huge difference between like a gold one that may say train 500,000 power troops. Because I can do that real fast. Just, you know, put one batch of troops in, train them, pop them out. Um, but the ones that want you to use a certain amount of minutes, those are sketchy because sometimes they're good. Like this one is 7,200 minutes of construction speed ups. That's something that may be doable. These ones that are 28,000, 57,000, be very careful. Check your, you know, speed ups that you possess and make sure that you have enough before you accept those. So you don't get stuck and have to waste a chance by trashing it, by hitting that trash can. So overall, that's pretty much all there is to Alliance Crunch. It's fairly straightforward, fairly simple. It comes around, I think about, I want to say every other week or so. Um, I, I honestly, I haven't tracked the events on here, but I'm pretty sure it's about every other week, like every two weeks or something this comes around. It could be every month. Um, it's very frequently that you see that. So, um, you know, just keep an eye on that. Pick the ones that you get the most points from, you know, refresh, refresh, refresh on these. If you have to remember to refresh, you click it, hit the arrows in the corner, confirm. You can refresh those as many times as you want. Um, and then it'll count down and just keep popping up new tiles saying, you know, here's a new challenge and you can either accept it or refresh it. So I would recommend sticking to your exclusives for the most part, even if it takes multiple refreshes, if you get a refresh that gives you 600 points for training 500,000 power worth of troops, I mean, that's way more beneficial than picking one of these 30 or 40 point ones that just basically throws your chance away and you don't rank very much. And you can see that sometimes how people are doing that in the solo rankings. Um, if you look at the challenges completed over here, you'll see that some people, um, like this person, has completed 15 challenges, just like the people in the very, you know, look first place, they've completed 15 challenges. Then you have someone down here, they're in 13th place with only a fifth of the points, only 20% of the points, and they've completed the same amount of challenges. Most likely because they're choosing challenges from lower. They're not refreshing and refreshing and refreshing their exclusives. So it does make a difference. Um, try and get the highest point exclusives and keep refreshing them until you get a big high point one and it's totally worth it. So I hope that helps you out. It gives you some direction in this and I wish you the best of luck. Um, I'll make another video out soon. If this helped you understand Alliance Crunch better and simplified it for you, please like and subscribe. It would do me a huge favor there. And until then, remember, have fun playing. Don't take it too seriously. Um, you know, it's supposed to be a game. It's supposed to be fun. So have fun with your Alliance. I hope this helps you and the other members of your Alliance score better in this and understand it better. Utilize the challenges to the highest point advantage and really gives you a leg up. So until next time, I will see you later, Guns of Glory family.